We're going to focus for the next few minutes on immigration and the apparent effort by Democrats to bring more potential voters into the fold. California has received nearly a half million applications from illegal immigrants for driver's licenses since Governor Jerry Brown's new law took effect there three months ago. Tonight, correspondent William Lajeunesse looks at how several states are actually breaking the law to get illegals behind the wheel. To board an airplane, TSA requires a secure ID. Driver's licenses meet that standard, state IDs do not. Which is why after 9-11, Congress passed the Real ID Act, which said IDs for illegal immigrants must use a unique design or color to alert law enforcement they're not secure. Do these IDs meet that standard? One is a valid license from the District of Columbia, the other is not. See a difference? What about these from Colorado? By law, they should look nothing alike, but they do. If you could assign a letter grade to the way states are issuing these types of licenses, they would get a resounding F. An F because in spite of clear language meant to distinguish a license from an ID, like these from Maryland and Vermont, some states don't want to offend the illegal immigrant lobby. What we object to um, is states that uh, gratuitously you know, would try to do much more uh, than necessary for the sole purpose uh, of stigmatizing individuals. The feds say the law is about security, not stigmas. Three 9-11 hijackers obtained state IDs using fraudulent documents. One had four IDs from two states. Yet even today, some states aren't doing enough to ensure the holder of a license is who they claim to be. In the case of California, they're accepting you know hundreds of documents issued by foreign governments that are very difficult to verify. This is a California license on your left, on the right, the license issued to 500,000 illegal immigrants. Though it says federal limits apply, they're almost identical. Now compare that to Illinois, which uses a different color, and Utah, a different design. North Carolina, for example, proposed to put a hot pink color uh, on the licenses of young immigrants, and one uh, could not really understand any legitimate reason uh, for doing that uh, other than to stigmatize and give them a scarlet letter. 11 states now issue licenses to illegal immigrants and more are considering it. Right?